guy called me on the phone about a show. He was the promoter and he said, I need your bio. He needed a little history about me and information about my show. And at the time, I had a Zen phrase in my head, a phrase I really liked. It's just two words, nothing special. It's kind of a, a way of looking at life. And I, I said to him, nothing special. And he goes, what? And I said, that's what I want for my bio, just nothing special. I told him it's a Zen Buddhist phrase and it's how I feel about my show lately. And he answered, I don't think we can get an audience with that. If you spend enough time working on stage or enough years in the entertainment business, you can get sick of writing bios about yourself. That is, if you're not 100% narcissist, uh, even if you're only 99% narcissist, you get to a point where you'll just be sick of talking about yourself. Yeah, I know this, even though I am still talk about myself a lot, like I'm doing right now, for instance, the, in the entertainment business, you constantly need to send your bio to another promoter. You're always rewriting your bio to update the thing and to polish it up. And Sometimes you'll sit with other entertainers and they'll just unconsciously start reciting their bio to you as if they're looking for work and they think that you can get them a job or as if they are trying to impress you with their work history. And it doesn't really make good dinner conversation. It's a little weird listening to a guy reciting anyway. In the past year, I did shows in the lounges of the following Holiday Inns. And I'd say, are you reciting your bio to me? And eventually, you just want to forget about bios because it's all just something fabricated anyway. And the truth is, I'm not so impressed with my own bio lately. And frankly, I'm not very impressed with other else people's bios either. I've read a lot of them. And it's the nicest bio I ever read when I read that Zen phrase, nothing special. But the promoter said, I don't think we can get an audience with that.